Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Mr. Law Jones out here in the uh, North uh, Dallas area out here. Actually, at my home. Um, something I usually don't do too much. I do. I really don't do too much Sunday work, but sometimes when you got your own vehicle, sometimes I do try to do. And um, today I got a little fun project for for myself here. So um, yesterday I had a motorist. Um, I was out out in the Dallas area, out on the uh, highway, out on the freeway out here, Interstate 20, and I uh, had a motorist that pulled up on the side of me, got caught in a little traffic, and he was like, hey, man, you know, when you get a chance, uh, man, check your brake lights. Your brake lights are not working. So sure enough, I got to my location where I was going to and didn't have a third brake light, no type of brake lights or anything. Turn signals, tail lights, had all that, but no brake lights. So definitely need them out here in Dallas because, uh, man, no shade thrown, but truth of the truth, man, people out here in Dallas can't drive to save your life out here. So um, definitely want to stay prepared up on it. So um, I bought a brand new uh, brake light switch. I got this at my local uh, parts store right here. So this is actually made by... Uh, Borg Warner, so I uh, got this here. This is about fifteen dollars or whatever, about fourteen, fifteen dollars. It's a local auto parts store, so I'm gonna go ahead and get up under here. I actually had started taking out the old one, and uh, it's not fun at all. So I need to get my. It's not fun at all. Not a not definitely not a fun project in the least. So I'm gonna get up under here and hope I can show you uh, where this part is at. And uh, so if you decide to tackle something like this here, you will know how it goes. Um, let me get, let's see if I can try to get this thing located for you. Uh, if you see it right there, uh, that little retainer right here, that's what I'm actually taking off. So the retainer has to come off of here. And, uh, once you get that retainer off and then you flip the switch, you flip the brake light switch up and then it'll come right out. So this is what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little bit detailed as possible with this thing here. So that way, when you get ready to do this, if you ever have that issue with your 88 to 98, uh, you know pickup truck or you know suv whatever you have you know at least that way you kind of have an idea on where it's at so um like i said it's gonna be kind of tricky to kind of uh do both let me see if i can try to see if i can see if i can get this thing out of here maybe i can try to film it here uh, like i said it's definitely what's needed on here you definitely gonna have to get your real small like screwdriver just to get like right there and uh if you can get it like uh oh let's see Let's see, my angle ain't that good. Okay, there we go. See if I can try to get this here, see if I can get this out. So what you wanna do, you wanna kinda pry it back on this here, and then as you pry it back, then this thing should just pop right out. But I think it's still locked up on something where I can't get it out, so. But anyway, I think you kinda get the idea, and then the installation gonna be reverse of this here. So let me go ahead, but yeah, I just wanna do a quick video of this here. Or what I'm doing, but yeah, I'll update you. I'll update you guys once I get it done and get this installed. But yeah, that's it right there. So um, at least you, if you didn't know how to do this, hopefully this video will help out someone. But like, so yeah, click subscribe, like, uh, comment. I'll take all comments, you know, whether they positive or negative. I mean, it's not biased here. So, um, but anyway, I'll update you once I get this installed, and uh, we can go from there. All right, thanks a lot.